Hey everyone, I'm uh, Matt. Welcome back to another video today. I am super excited. We are here at Elkhart Open House doing the world debut of a brand new brand of fifth wheel that you guys have never seen. This is the 2024 Heartland Cortera model CT 3.0. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Cortera and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited. Always when we bring you a world debut of a new product, I absolutely love it. But this is a new brand, something that's never before been seen. And if you guys saw the thumbnail of this video, one of the most beautiful interiors that I've ever seen in a fifth wheel, the all new Heartland Cortera. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good guys, I'm so excited. We heard probably like a year ago, Harlan was working on like revamping stuff. Yeah. And we're just like, yeah, yeah, everybody's saying that. But when I saw the inside of this, wow. I'm like, yeah, they took their time, they did it right. I'm excited to show you guys. And the outside looks really good too. Show stopper, Will. For and sure. let, let me tell you something, I don't know what goes on on the business side of things when it comes to general RV and everything, but I can almost promise you they had no intentions of picking up any new lines of fifth wheels this season. Right. When they saw this, they said, hold the phone. This thing is absolutely amazing. It is. So I'm really excited that we're gonna be selling this. Yes. Well, let's begin. Model is the Corterra 3.0 CT. The actual tip tip length of this fifth wheel is 34 feet, nine and a half inches. Nice. The height is 13 feet, three inches, and the hitch weight is to be determined. And I don't know it's the dry weight. about 2,000. Right, I don't know the dry weight, but we will have the dry weight, and if, when we do have the specs, we'll have Jen share it. Okay. Right here's the Kurt Rotoflex pin box, and if you take a step back, well, look at this beautiful painted fiberglass front cap. Cortera looks absolutely awesome. Also, make sure you guys stick around to the very end. We're gonna have Tim on, and he's gonna tell us a little bit about the inspiration with Cortera, how they got the name, and what they're doing different in the industry. Beautiful painted fiberglass front cap. Love that front windshield and that blue LED light Looks right great. there. Coming on down here, we do have storage underneath here, and there is cutouts. Does that mean there's generator prep? Uh, possibly. Yes. Yeah. Just because we have the cutouts doesn't mean it's prepped for a generator. We would have to check to see if it's wiring. Typically, these it fifth wheels be. in the yeah. size. No, they wouldn't be in this oh, size. If they have the cutouts in a mid pro, it's probably prepped for it. But typically, mid pros don't have cutouts for a generator. Correct. Yeah. Thank you for correcting me, Will. Yeah. Coming on down the side here, uh, if you go around that way, Will, okay. you're going to see that this has awesome frameless windows. And look at how they're designed, especially up there. Yep. Power awning with LED lights and no power awning with LED lights on the slide out. And then coming on down here, you can see that this has really impressive storage in the pass-through. Battery disconnect switch there, you got your inverter, solar charger control right there. Very, very nice. And then right here, we do have your propane tanks right there. Cool. Now this does have four. Four point electric auto leveling. And then coming on down, we do have power and coax on the outside. Also, this is Heartland. So what Heartland does that I really love is they use Asdell for their side right. composite. Asdell is a composite and it will never delaminate on you. That's right. And well, look, they, they, they got the red stamp. I uh, hear you. Here, we need to show these steps. Yes. Nice, uh, more right step above. Okay, they're not hydraulic assisted. Correct. It's all good. I do love that I right like there. that as well. That is such an awesome feature. And then coming on down here, we'll hop on over the stanchions. Okay. Look at these tires. Well, they're the Goodyear endurance tires. I love those. ST255-85 R16. Very nice. I love those rims. And what acts, uh, what are they using for suspension? Uh, uh, just standard, okay. Right, but what's really cool is these actually have ABS. Right. It's not the Lippert ABS, it's the Dexter ABS. Yeah. Very right it's called something different but okay. it includes it's we're, like sway control we're gonna talk to tim about it afterwards okay. so make sure you guys check it out but but again i i don't care who makes the abs yeah. if you're putting abs on an rv i'm a huge fan of that and i, I absolutely agree. love that again with the frameless windows looks absolutely fantastic and then coming on down here will no ladder to get up on the roof womp, womp. well they do the prep yeah yes it is prep for that lippard ladder right here we got a 300 pound hitch please don't tow anything behind it 
Furion backup camera there. Okay. And there's Bruce over there. We should ask Bruce. Yeah. Here, come on. Hey, boss. What's happening? Welcome to the show. Good to see you. <laughs> we got a question for you. Absolutely. Did you guys plan on picking up a new brand of fifth wheels when you came to the show? We did not. Right, right. What? Right. And then, right. Then this. Do you know what stores yet? Still dying on it. Okay, still. Guys. So, what's it? Reach out, you know. reach out to our team. By the time this video is live, we're gonna have more answers for you. But again, look, look at the smile on Bruce's face. This unit <laughs> is really, really exciting. Really exciting. Thanks, Bruce. You bet. Good to see you. Dude. Like that's what I love about open house. You come in, you have a game plan, but then some manufacturer drops something like this, yeah, and all of a it sudden, throws it all off. It's like you, in you a know, good way, right? You know how they, they say like. Oh, nothing's for sale. Everything's, Everything's for, sale. for sale. Like you come here, oh, we're not buying nothing. Yeah. Unless you're buying something. Right. You know? Come on down here, Will. Beautiful place to dump your tanks right there. Okay. Nice suburban instant hot tankless water heater. 50 amp power right there. Very nice. Coming on down here. The other side of storage. Here's that water hookup. Black tank flush potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Yes, sir. And another pro. Well, Will, the outside of this unit looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Okay. Hop on in. All right, we'll start up front. You have a very nice bedroom up here. Right next to that is the bathroom that connects to the bedroom. And then coming down, well, first you got Jen. Hey guys. Hi, Jen. Hello. You got your living area, kitchen, dining area, all in the back. Wow, guys, I have never in my life seen an RV this beautiful or this well designed ever, especially at a mid profile price point. Now, before we start on the inside, let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips, don't wait. Be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. And we're back just like that. Are the lights bright? I think so. Is it flickering? No flickering. We're back. Okay, so first and foremost on the inside, we have these awesome LED light strips. When the light strips are dim, I can tell when it's dim because then our camera starts to flicker. Right. Jen <clears throat> is in the rear lounge what's going on with this sofa beautiful I, I love it i love the brown leather it's really super comfortable these both are klein that's a trifold and just the interior colors in here like like you said i haven't seen anything like this before now where do you put your drink ah right here there just like go. that not only that there's usb there as well okay and that does it on the sofa as well very nice now if you sit on up for me jan i yes. will make this into a bed before I do that, I do want to highlight the slow rise privacy blinds. Yep. Very nice wood balances here. And Will, what do you call this trim? Uh, barn beams. Yes, bar beam. And again, we are going to talk to Tim. He's staying outside talking with Bruce. Um, and we're going to have him on at the end of the episode. And he's going to tell us some things that we might miss or whatever. Yep. It is some all real wood, he stuff. said. So. Yes. Factory. Um, right here, we do have storage above here. Yep. Kind of hard to get open. We will talk about that a little bit later. Okay. And there's the storage doors. Nice. Nice windows all the way around. And then, well, check out these balances. Approved. Bing. Oh, Jen loves these balances. And then right here, again, we have this awesome leather sofa. Let's take a look at it. 
Will you do that? I'll show on either side of the uh, sofa. Here, if you hold this, Jen. There's storage right there. Nice. Super nice. Yeah. And then just like this, bada bing, bada boom. Well, this comes out to make a bed. There you go. Very, very nice and it's easy to set up. Show this entertainment center right there. Yeah, I think this entertainment center is just so clean. Nice Sansui TV, JBL sound bar, and you have this mantle, but what's really cool is this mantle comes out for secret storage, for your remotes, nice fireplace and everything right there. And do you want to show the last part of it? Thank you, Sir Will. I yeah. will. You want to know what's funny, America? What? Look at this storage. It's an amazing pantry. Me, Will, and Jen, we're tired. Oh, yeah. We've been filming all week. This is the very last this video. This is the very last video. But when you give me this for my last video, you better believe I'm coming in hot because this is super exciting. No doubt. Flush floor slides right there. Yep. Flush floor slides right here. And then here's the table and chairs. I love these bucket style seats. Plenty of space here. Tons of space. Very nice so tabletop. That's what we were talking about outside. Tow assist is what they call it. ABS and sway mitigation system. And so. again, we will touch on that with Tim more on the outside. Just because when it comes to safety stuff, we want to make sure we're telling you guys the right stuff. Yeah, for sure. Very nice right there. Windows all the way around and everything. Okay. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Jen, please put the MSRP right here so everybody can see who's watching on television. Do. With that said, that is the MSRP of this new unit. If we can advertise a sale price, please put that there. And regardless if we're allowed to advertise the sale price or not, I know we are going to get everybody the absolute best price in America. Because here's what I'm telling you. That gentleman out there, Bruce, he's the boss. Right. And if he, if this puts a smile on his face as big as what it did, I know we're going to sell a lot of these and we're going to get extremely aggressive with the price. So if you guys are interested in learning more about this or getting the absolute best price in America, please go to generalrv.com slash matscash. We'll link it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from matsrvrvs.com or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to us and a member of our team will get you guys the absolute best price in America. That's right. Will, show us this beautiful kitchen. Okay, I'll start over here. Again, that space is kind of combo pantry space. Um, you have storage here with power. I think there's storage up top here. There you go. Yes, sir, very nice. Nice big graystone microwave right here. Window on your non-camping side. Three burner suburban cooktop with your lights and oven. Right here. Hey, that's $174 trash can. It sure is. And then you also have another little secret storage drawer. Love there. that, love that. Over here on this kitchen island, all solid surface countertops, nice extension faucet right there. Um, you got a couple drawers for your silverware first, and then just regular drawers underneath. Wow. Right there. And then finishing up this island, you got more storage right there. And a huge sink right there. Yeah. And hey, Will, would you call this like a teak look? What would you say, Jen? Like um, a tiki look or no? Kind of, right? It's a style I see residential and they're getting something that's called pole rack. Okay. It's yeah. meant to, to go around oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Have a column in your house or something like mm -hmm. in the basement. But it's really pretty and looks I think nice. they're bringing it over from the... I don't care what it's called, Will. It looks good. Right over here, nice ever chill refrigerator. Heck yeah. Looks good. And then two freezer drawers underneath. Right there. Yes. Finishing it up, you have a nice big pantry there. Yes. And this is really nice too, wine, bourbon, coffee. It looks really nice. So you have a wine rack up top, so your little bourbon uh, shelf, and then your coffee bar right here. Jen, don't say nothing. Will, hang on. Yeah. Come on, grab the camera. Oh. Do you know what this is? No. <laughs> Jen, do you know what this is? I do. So do I. Tell everybody. That is to make a fancy big round ball of ice. Oh, yeah, yeah I've seen for, those before. For your bourbon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. Jen, why do you know this? I don't know because I don't drink whiskey or bourbon. Right. Okay, nice drawer there. And then wrapping it up with storage underneath. Awesome. Let's check, a lot, check out that bathroom. Okay. And while we do, I do want to point out how the panel is nicely covered yeah. as well. And it's still the push buttons. I love that. Oh man, well they messed something up. Oh man, it's okay. 
plenty of ceiling height, but you guys know we don't do radius showers. Womp womp. That does not radius. get the shower test seal of approval. That's right. It is a okay, Will. If you hold this, uh huh. I just want to show right here. This is prepped for a stackable washer and dryer. You sure? Looks combo small. washer and dryer. Like yeah. it looks too big for a, a combo, but yeah. it looks too small for a stackable. Right over here, we do have the mirror. And then no place for liquefied, womp womp. But guys, we're actually all out of liquefied here at the show, but you can get it at primepoopposition.com, Amazon, uh, walmart.com, eBay, and at your local General RV. That's our brand of black tank toilet treatment. Pick up a bottle, y'all. There you go. Thank you guys so, so much. Yes. And Jen, hopefully you like inserted a bottle. Bing. Right there. <laughs> yep. Pour some toilet. What? Well, they messed up on the shower. But this is a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. Take a look at that master bedroom. Okay. Coming into the master. Well, I like this uh, blanket. It's actually yes. nice and soft. But looks like they have a queen size bed in here. But there's plenty of room for a king size. Wow. A nice little nightstand. Do we know it's a king size bed an option? It looks like it. I can't okay. imagine that it's not. We'll, we'll ask Tim. Yeah. Very nice headboard there. Love this front windshield. Yeah, he said this is the biggest in the industry. Nice. Tons of storage right here. Look at all those shelves. Yeah, look at all these drawers. drawers is what I mean. Look at all these drawers. And then look at that, another sliding drawer. Even more. Cool. And there, and then right over there, Very we got nice. storage right there. Uh, well, Will, we good? Yep. That's it, that's the review. Now, before everybody goes, we're gonna give you three things we like and three things we don't like, and then we're gonna talk with Tim. Will, what do we do first? Uh, you wanna do dislikes first? Of course. Number one and two is actually outside. Will, dislike number one for me, you guys know we love our power awnings, and with this unit being a rear lounge, not having a power awning with LED lights on the slide out for us is a real big negative for us. Yep. With that said, this was a huge power awning underneath here, but the more awnings, the more shade, the better the space on the outside. That's dislike number one. What's dislike number two? Okay, dislike number two for me is gonna be the four point electric auto leveling. I'm okay with the electric, but in a coach this size, once you cross like that 30 foot, in my opinion, you really want that six point. And that comes a lot from personal experience. Yes. Will's first fifth wheel was about the same exact it, size of yeah, this. And when I was sleeping on that sofa in the rear and I heard, felt I felt Will wake up in the morning on this side, just cause it shook a little bit, you know? Did, yep. Definitely was doable, but oh, yeah. something this big, we wanna see six point leveling. Exactly. And as Will said, electric leveling, totally fine right right just give us six points yep that's number two will let's wrap it up with dislike number three All right great that's two things we don't like will tell us dislike number three uh dislike number three i'm a combo probably two things i guess one i, I think they should put some lighting in here oh that'd be that cool look really nice in the back yeah that's not you good know? enough for like a dislike so combo it yeah and the other thing is like with these cabinets like it's kind of hard to open okay so they need handles, even these big ones back here, you know, or some sort of better latch system. Yeah, or, something. Dem yeah. Definitely something. I'd like to see something and maybe like some hinges to hold up the uh, oh, yeah, that'd storage be good. thing. Yeah. yeah. Great. Just like that. That's three things we uh, don't like about it. Miss Jen, would you like to help us for three things we love about this unit? All and right. then again, make sure you guys stick around. We're going to talk to Tim, the kind of the creator of this product. Jen, what's like number one? Like number one is just like the overall interior design of this. Perfect. I think that's like the standout thing. The colors are so unique, like the wood grain touches. It looks nice. I love the lights over the kitchen island. Too. Everything. Mm -hmm. Really unique. It's very beautiful and nice. That's number one. Well, number two for me, it's going to be the flush floor slide outs in here. Yeah. Did not expect that on this price point of a fifth wheel, this size of a fifth wheel. I really like it. And I love how you have a spacious dinette over there. I agree. That's number two, and then well, like number three? Man, like number three, I'm gonna say this like wine, bourbon, coffee bar. Love it. I think it's really cool, and it's a little unique. It's probably not for everybody. Right. But at the same time, like most people are just doing the uh, coffee bar. Yep. And then cabinets, like I don't feel like you're losing anything with this either. Right. You know? so, and I feel like it looks better than just cabinet doors. I think so too, yeah. Yep, yep, yeah. for sure. Well guys, that's it, that's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in buying this unit, please go to generalrv.com slash matscash. I've linked it down below. With that said, guys, let's talk to Tim and figure out how the heck, what was he drinking 
when he came up with this unit, because because we gotta get some. Okay. Tim, welcome to the show. Thank you. Who are you? Tim Markle, Director of Sales at Heartland RV. Tell us about this amazing product and what inspired you guys to create it. Thank you. So this is Corterra. Corterra is a mid-profile fifth wheel built by Heartland RVs. Um, where we came up with the name is Cor in Latin is heart. Terra in Latin is land. So we decided to put the two together, Heartland. This is the core of the Heartland RVing experience. So this is the Heartland Heartland? It is. <laughs> Heartland Cordera. <laughs> so tell us about some features that we might not have known because we haven't had training on this. This is a brand new world yes. debut. So something that we might have missed, especially with like the ABS and everything. Yes, yeah, so we start out with Dexter, Dexter tow assist axles. ABS brakes, sway mitigation, mitigation. It also has odometer reading. So it will actually tell you how many miles you've traveled with your RV. Oh, very cool. Very cool, different. American made Goodyear tires. Yes. So right off the bat, you have a solid foundation for your towing experience, which is very important to us. Um, the Moride steps, the Moride safety rail grab handle, frameless windows. Love Not it. a lot of guys in a mid profile at this price point are doing frameless windows. Right. Something that we really felt was important to the, to finish off the look and the design of the product. And then I think to top it all off, having that huge front windshield, being the biggest in the industry, it's beautiful and fantastic. And talk about having a view from your bedroom. Yeah, so from the outside, it looks amazing, but from the inside, it gives you expansive views. So imagine having it looking over a lake or the woods, whatever you want, it's the best looking cap in the industry. Perfect, let's take a look at some of the inside features. Tim, inside is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Who is the person, who, who took the lead on designing the inside? So it was, uh, it was a team of people. Uh, we have an interior designer, Jill Peterson, who I feel knocked it out of the park with the colors, the features, the design of the woodwork, the sofas, the chairs. Jill did all that. And who's Jill's boss? Jill. Who, but who pays Jill? Um, Heartland? So she, well, Heartland. Who, who, she works for Heartland. She directs directly for Heartland. Yeah, who's, who's, who writes the check? Mel. Oh, Kyle Kwasney. Kyle, you owe Jill a very fancy dinner because Jill <laughs> knocked it out of the park. She did. Yeah, very nice. So tell us some awesome interior features. Yeah, I mean, if you want, we can start with the lighting and the ceiling. Love it. You know, there's 15 less holes in the ceiling, 15 less opportunities for mistakes to be made. We're gonna have fat and trim here in the seams anyways. Why not take this opportunity to put lighting, LED lighting in those seams? The nice thing about this lighting is, it is dimmable. Oh, yes. So the very cool thing about this is you can set the mood, you want it just for mood lighting, or you want it, you need a lot of light, you can have it either way. Yes. Unfortunately, the dimmable lights don't work on YouTube. Right. But like, it's always like flickers when it's low. But I, I wish we could tell you, it looks really nice with the lights low. Yeah. Um, it just doesn't look good for YouTube. Right. What else? Another, we another thing. So this is a pretty standard formation for what people do in an, in an RV with a pantry. But what we did here is most people do an overhead cabinet. We took this opportunity to use functional space. So we built a wine, bourbon, coffee bar just showing utilization of space and the functionality. We don't want to lose any functionality in this unit. This was actually one of Will's likes that he really did like about it. Just how it just looks unique and different. Yep. Awesome. What else? Uh, functionality, uh, storage. We have the pull-out trash can. We also have another drawer inside hidden where the pull-out trash can is. Um, beautiful entertainment center, but what's behind it is a ton of extra storage. Anything you need, anything you want, put it in here. Love it. And then to wrap it all up, the bathroom was pretty standard from what I saw, but when I walked into this bedroom, it blew me away with the interior look. Now, so, stackable washer and dryer or all-in-one? That's an all-in-one okay. on this floor plan. Got it. Yeah, it looked bigger than an all-in-one, but smaller than a stackable. Right. And you can do a king bed option in here? So it will be king standard. Okay. This one just being one of one coming off the line, we were forced to do a queen. That's fine. And that, that's really important. So we were all done. We were already done with with the Thor Industries display. And again, Bruce and General RV, they didn't come here expecting to pick up a fifth wheel line. Bruce, I mean, if you saw the smile on Bruce's face. Yes. Bruce is freaking awesome. But anyway, so we came back here. So um, the, the reason why we ran back here to make sure that we do this world debut is because this is the prototype. Tim and his team, they want to hear your feedback. Drop a comment down below. Let them know what you're liking about the new Corterra and what you're not liking because it's things like this that's going to be make the small tweaks to make this For product sure. the absolute best that it can be.
Correct. So Thank you. anything else in here? I would just say if you get a chance, just you know, we're not looking at much out right. the window. But we're looking look at, at the Chiefs ice cream you, stand you, right there. there. <laughs> but look at the view. I mean, it's expansive and it's just a great, <clears throat> a great it view. Is. His and hers closets, 12 drawers in the bedroom with a built-in laundry hamper. I love it. Tim, this is going to sound so corny. Thank you for making a beautiful product. Thank you. It gets very cumbersome, or I, maybe that's not the right word, reviewing RVs over and over and over again. Stale, kind of. Stale. Yeah. And to see something like this, like, you don't know this. We've been filming all week. This is our last video. And if you see our last videos, they're always the worst ones. This just fires us up because we love seeing beautiful new products. And for us personally, as RV reviewers and representatives of general, we sell tons of brands. We don't care about this brand or that brand or that brand. We care who's going to bring our viewers the most beautiful, coolest, innovative stuff and designs. Yeah. And you guys have knocked it out of the park. Thank you, we appreciate it. What do you want to say to America before we go? Uh, Thank you. This is just the first of many cool things to come with the Heartland Corterra. There you cool. go. Guys, and they are going to have more floor plans. And if we get enough comments, I know they're going to call us as soon as it comes out. We'll fly out here to bring you guys more world debuts of Corterras, their new floor plans, and maybe new products in the Heartland lineup coming in the near future. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. We'll see you next time.